Hey, Kevin. Santa come? Yeah, Christmas in uh, August, yeah. But you gotta love it when people send you chunks of steel. Here's a piece of 5 eighths, inch and a half, woofer. Can't show you the name yet. And some little parts and pieces. We got some little nozzles, we got some little O-ring or you know, little swirl rings and some little tips. Oh hell, you guys know what's in here by now. Let's look inside that one. You know, and all of a sudden you realize it's not that big. So here's everything that came in the box with this Esob Cutmaster 60i. Uh, a real nice little quick start guide. It comes with a video and an operator's manual. So it does have a water separator built into the back of the machine, but they also included an inline water separator that you could hook on there also if you happen to live in a, you know, a really damp environment somewhere. And then a decent looking ground clamp. Here's your torch with the cable. And I thought this was kind of fascinating. This, you know, instead of having to screw, 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 you know, to get something in there, this is more like a quick disconnect. But look at this end where the torch, you know, where, where the gun is, and you can just unscrew this, and this just unplugs. So if something happened to the torch body, if you stepped on it, you dropped a piece of steel on it or something, you broke the body, well, you could just replace the body itself. You don't have to replace the whole cable. Not a bad idea. So it also came with some gouging tips, and this is a new uh, uh, body, you know, for the torch head itself. And then here is a shield to go on the end of that torch, or that, that nozzle cover, and that's to help, to help protect the tip. So let's just go ahead and we'll run through the quick start guide here, and we'll fire this puppy up, put it to work. First thing it calls for is just hook up the ground. That's easy. And to hook up the torch, you'll notice there's a nice little flat spot in the, in the connector right here, so it just lines up where it's supposed to be. Bada boom, it's done. It wants some air and 220. We can do that. I did have to put a fitting in the back of the machine for my air connection. So it does not come with one, so you'll have to get one of those separately. And plug that puppy into 220. Flip the switch. Oh boy, lights! And go ahead and run it. Hello. Well, it has its own little test for the, for the air, I guess. It just came on all by itself, bled a little air through, helped clean out the line, make sure that's all hooked up correctly. And the quick start guide is saying, you know, run it from 10 amps at the bottom, all the way up to 60 amps at the top. And with it set up at 60 amps here, you come in and push the automatic manual button, I'm assuming what A, A and M means. And you see, if you look here at the dash, you see the, the solid, you know, the, the closely spaced dash lines so that's for your regular plasma cutting. You push that there, and you see a little lock just came on. Push it again, and now you've got this widely spaced dashed line. I believe that is for perforated or expanded metal. Push it again, you see the little solid bar with a notch cut out of it. That's your gouge setting, and then an air test. And if you look right here on the display panel, you see here's your torch head, and it's got one little bar sticking off of it right in here, and it says SL100. But if you come over here and push on this button, you see another bar just showed up. And the display, for the air pressure, the display dropped from green down into yellow. So you can turn your, turn your knob, get your air pressure back up again where it belongs. And what that is doing is it's setting the machine up air pressure wise for the length of your cable on your torch. So from zero to 35 feet, you're just gonna want this display right in here. This is showing for that length of a cable. For 35 to 50 feet, you're gonna want one extra bar added on there and just turn your air pressure up a little bit. Now you're back in the green, it's ready for there. The next one is 50 to 75 feet and then 75 to 100 feet and you just turn your knob until you get your air pressure back in green. And this is a 20-foot cable that came with the machine. So boy, when you want to get away from your work. Wow. Man, that's a pretty good cable. So we'll go back to this original setting. And you see now it's got way too much air pressure. So let's back that puppy back off again, back until we're in the green. 
So we've got a green light. We're at 60 amps. We've got our torch all hooked up. Our ground is all hooked up. All we're missing is something to cut. Well, let me put my glasses and gloves on and we'll make a cut. So this is a piece of half inch plate steel and let's see what she does. So while it plowed through that piece of half inch with no hesitation whatsoever, it is a little jiggly, which is this guy's fault. And just a couple other little things from the brochure over here. This machine is a dual voltage machine. It's auto sensing and it's set up for either 220 or 440. And right here on the display panel, it is grayed out right now, but right here on the display panel, there is an end of life indicator to show you that the consumables need to be changed. So I'm gonna do a couple more videos with this. We're gonna get into that piece of inch and a half plate. <laughs> awesome. Oh yeah. At the end of this series, there's two more videos to go with this machine. That last video, make sure you watch it because I got a little coupon for you. So I'm going to go back to work. You guys are going to reach out and hit that subscribe button for me. And I'll see you next time. Paper! I've always wanted some of this.